Craig here. In this video I'm going to be going over the installation of the power draw bar for the Tormach 770. Okay, I thought I'd start by uh, going over the components of the system before I actually go putting it in. Of course, one of the key components to the system is the cylinder. This is actually a three-stage cylinder, or basically three separate cylinders um, bolted together. This, I believe, is the uh, input line. So when air pressure is applied here, it goes into this cylinder, that cylinder, and that cylinder all at the same time, uh, thereby pushing the, uh, the cylinder down or the bolt down. And I believe this is the, uh, the return. So when air pressure is put into this one, it then pushes all three of the cylinders uh, back up. I'm not really all that familiar with cylinders. But I believe this is a uh, four inch or I believe a hundred millimeter cylinder and some basic study that I did on cylinders I believe the uh, the hundred uh, millimeter or four inch cylinder is uh, creates about a thousand uh, pounds of pressure for one cylinder so I'm assuming this is like three thousand pounds of pressure coming out of this bolt on the bottom here. I don't know if anybody is more familiar with cylinders than I am. Uh, please let me know down below, but that's kind of what I'm understanding at this point. This will give you a better look at the actual cylinder here. And of course it's on this mounting bracket here, like a standoff to keep it up high enough above the uh, power draw bar and I believe also this portion right here is kind of like a catch to catch on to the either what's called the hat or whatever method it keeps basically to keep the uh, this force from shoving down onto the uh, the bearings uh, this has something to do with protecting the bearings. Okay, so the next major part of the power draw bar is this electrical and uh, air hoses. It's got some kind of circuit board in there. Probably to be able to control it from path pilot, I'm assuming. Not sure what all it's, all these components do, but this is obviously the uh, air valve. Then it comes with the miscellaneous hardware. I believe these are some kind of standoffs or uh, components to connect the, uh, the cylinder to the mill and various hardware and uh, a quick release pin to be able to pivot the power draw bar out of the way to be able to change the belt. And here's the actual draw bar right here. This is actually the, the key part of the power draw bar system. All those components are to actually make this draw bar go up and down basically. I guess it has a, it's a special length of drawbar to account for all of these washers. So basically you have uh, four sets of uh, Belleville washers or spring washers. And what I'm assuming is what would be considered like the, the hat. I think some of the mills have uh, like a special uh, part that goes on the mill itself where the uh, the bottom bracket of the cylinder uh, assembly grabs onto basically this prevents the 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 pressure from the cylinders from pushing into the bearings so the pressure is applied right here which then compresses these Belleville or spring washers here so about a little bit about these uh, spring washers or Belleville washers I did a little research, mainly, uh, most of this information is on uh, McMaster car. But the way these spring washers are being used on this power bar draw, draw bar uh, is within what's considered to be uh, uh, inverted, basically facing each other. This is what would be considered to be nested. So if you had a bunch, a stack of them that were like this, uh, where they're like dinner plates, you know, stacked like this. Now when calculating these uh, washers, I found out that if you stack them like this, you actually multiply the, 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 
the force of the spring or the rating of the spring by the number of uh, washers that are uh, nested. So if this was say like, I don't know the exact rating, but if, if this was like uh, 2,500 pounds or something like that, and you put two of them together, I guess this would be uh, 5,000 pounds. But since they're inverted like this and stacked like this, apparently no matter how many there are, the actual pressure value is uh, just one disc. So if this disc is 2,500 pounds, and if you stack all of these in this configuration, this is only 2,500 pounds altogether. The way it's grouped like this, I guess, is to increase deflection, or basically the amount of distance that it moves as the pressure is applied. When they're squished down, it moves a further distance, thereby allowing this drawbar to push down further to be able to let the tool out uh, down below. So basically you have two things. You have the working pressure, or basically how much pressure it takes to push these down, or how much uh, load it will hold, and then deflection, or how far these will actually squish in. So that was my understanding for the stuff that I read. And the power draw bar also comes with pressure uh, filter regulator and uh, lubricator. So I guess this is the uh, air filter here and regulator and this is the uh, lubricator. I think you put oil in this and uh, of course it comes with uh, the pressure gauge. And uh, of course it comes with the instructions, so. Alright, next part is going to be uh, doing the install, step-by-step -step install. Alright.